Hi, I'm Drake DeMay from Life Sculpting Solutions. I'm glad to have you today. One of the, everybody knows that the most common reason for divorce in the United States today is money. But one of the most causes of the money being the problems in the relationships is that one spouse is usually doing all the work while the other one might be a job hopper or might not be losing jobs and whatnot. And that's the number one reason for the stress of money inside of most uh, marriages in North America today. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk more about how important it is and what you can do to prevent this from happening to your marriage. Anyway, hang on just a moment and we'll get started. It's great to have you back. Again, I'm Drake DeMay from Life Sculpting Solutions. Uh, what were you speaking about earlier about divorce being, uh, money being the most important thing that's causing trouble in divorces and a way to solve it. And one of the ways that we can actually solve it is actually for the person that might be a job hopper, might not have a lot of talent or skills or even have interest in working is to actually find write-offs and what they actually do to try to build and learn and exp expand their horizons. Now let me go into detail here. One of the things that you can do is you can take hobbies and interests and you can try to make money at it. Um, whether it's painting or jobs that you do, house cleaning, mowing lawns, or anything, you've always got tax write-offs and so you can generate wealth while losing money. A lot of people are aware of this, but a lot of people just don't know how to practice it. And it's a very simple practice. Now, before we go any further, you need to make sure that you speak to your certified public accountant and make sure that all the things that we're talking about here can be used by you, and they should be able to tell you that if you explain it in detail. But if you were to have an interest in uh, build, rebuilding motorcycles, rebuilding cars, or working, providing heavy skills and tools and equipment, you can actually look to pursue such an interest and to become better at it. And while doing that, that is a reason if you're trying to do it to be gainfully employed, you don't have to have a DBA, you don't have to have an LLC, you don't have to be a corporation, S corporation, anything of, it, of this matter. But all you have to do is work to expand your horizons, to make more. No matter what it is, as long as you're working to better, for that's the basic concept now. There's going to be stipulations with your taxes as well. But if there's something you have interest in, and the other spouse can, uh, uh, is already swinging most of the bills, and you're trying to save the marriage, expand your horizons by trying to market your talent, your skills of your interest. And that would be go for research, travel, uh, any form of education. Of course, always make sure you speak to your CPA. And if you can find something that can that you're already doing, that you already have the tools for and everything like that, you can actually sell the, the, the tools and whatnot that you would be using for your business back to yourself and still get a claim, still be able to write it off on taxes even if you purchased it years before. Of course, make sure you expand this to, to explain this to your certified public accountant and have him explain the details. I'm not a certified public accountant, so make sure you check your resources. Other than that, I hope this information was useful to you. I hope you can use it. I hope you can make money, be useful, and save your marriage and have a better relationship without money being the cause for this. Not so long ago, I had a loved one of mine. A loved one of mine, uh, he was making a large sum of money every year. Well, his wife didn't have the skills or was making the income that he was making at that time. And, it was, and she was working very hard at a job that was only making maybe one-tenth of what he was making. Don't get me wrong, they, he was making a lot of money. She was, working, she was working extremely hard, 40 hours a week. And after that, he wasn't using the tax shelters that, that could be used. And he was, only, and he was paying in close to one-third of his taxes because of not having, actually it might have been more than that on the, the uh, principle of what he was making every year. So he was making, he was paying in more taxes than what she was making. And she was only pulling in, I, I'd hate to give numbers out because I think it's kind of rude. She was making maybe $14,000 a year, where he was making close to $150,000 a year. 
So what the, so we went, we talked, we looked at the paper, and then we consulted a certified public accountant. We look, went and looked at her, her numbers, and she had talent and skill, and we decided to market that as well. So she went into doing other things uh, that, were, that would take up her time. She would be more lenient to help generate more write-offs for her investment. And because they're married, it's considered the same money. So basically, and so instead of him paying in close to one third of his income, like fifty thousand dollars, and her making maybe fourteen thousand dollars a year, she was doing uh, this this home business, uh, just trying to make money. It wasn't an LLC or a DBA or anything like that. She was out working, trying to gather money, make money, and because of that, anything that she used, the mileage of the car, the the, uh, the square foot footage of the, of the office space uh, and all these other things, cell phone, anything, advertising. She was actually doing something she had pleasure in doing. She was happy doing the things that she enjoyed doing. And at the same time, while doing all this, they're actually, instead of taking that money and paying taxes, they're taking that money and investing in her, her business, which actually grew quite well and uh, they made quite some sum of money. Other than that, I hope this helps you and can, you can use your life to better your life romantically as well. I, I want you to be happy and I don't want money to be a problem in your relationship and I, I'm not sure if you're gonna win the lotto. So other than that, I would like to take a moment to tell you that I hope you're blessed and if you are blessed, share your blessings with those that don't have any blessings, okay? Other than that, I will see you next Saturday at 10 a.m. Have a good day and God bless you.